Dragon Valley is known for being one of the most popular air maps in Battlefield 2. If you know which strategies are effective on this map, you will have a massive advantage to win over the enemy team. This is why this video will cover the most effective strategies for both teams to win over the enemy. So first I'm going to explain it from the US side of view and then from the Chinese uh, forces view. Um, talking about the US side, you are left with the carrier as you know and you need to basically capture as many flags as possible if you have more than half the opponent's tickets decreased faster than yours. Um, so what you can do is first of all you should try to keep docks, alright? Docks is a flag that you have in, be in the beginning. Docks is basically where your UAV and your radar, whatever, like is set. So if you lose docks, the enemy is going to destroy your asset. You should make sure that you don't, this doesn't happen. Same goes with the artillery that is on this island in between docks and the carrier. Another really important thing to have docks is because you have a helipad, all right? The helicopter can advance through the map better the more opportunities he has to repair to resupply so make sure you target these flags with the helipad so the second important flag is the market all right because the market gives the helicopter a sort of like new radius of safety zone if you capture the market you're going to be much much safer off or much much better off because you can resupply over there so in terms of strategy, the most aggressive strategy to win uh, over Chinese team is basically you target refinery or woodyard first. Why is that? Because this is where the Chinese have their air support. So if you are able to capture refinery, it means that the enemy, at least for the time being, before you take out the jets that already took off, it means that the enemy has no longer any jets. That's very, very powerful for your team because then jets become instantly quite, quite, quite strong. All right. I don't want to say overpowered because he's still going to have helicopters. <laughs> he's still going to have AA, e glass, whatsoever, Eric, stuff like that can still be an obstacle to jets. But Another thing is that your chats are going to be able to resupply to repair at refinery and not only at the carrier. So from that moment on, they can really quickly and continuously bump uh, Woodyard, Power Plant and this flag, which are, let's say, the ones that are still dangerous because from these points the Chinese will try to recapture Rev. So once you have ref, really make sure you also are able to hold it because <laughs> the enemy is going to be super pissed off. They're going to like rush back. They're going to push, push, push. So if you capture ref and you only hold it for five minutes, it was totally pointless because actually being able to capture ref takes a lot of effort. The fastest way to do it is if someone in your team takes a jet, he makes up a squad, he becomes squad leader, and he jumps off, so he basically bails heights, that's important. He has to hide somewhere in this forest area or whatsoever. Just make sure that squad leader is hiding because whenever people die, they can respawn, all right? And the people that manage to get to ref should make sure they take the enemy APCs and tanks. If they take them out or if they're able to, you know, take them themselves because they were left there empty doesn't really matter the, the idea is just that you you are able to kind of like weaken the enemy ground force all right and then there's of course uh, several ways how to capture ref you can go through several like the main entrance side entrance back entrance whatsoever just make sure uh, you kind of semi hide because it's a vulnerable flag as well. If you're too far inside a building, you're not going to be able to get the flag down anymore. If you're too far out, you're instantly going to get bombed or taken out by a TV missile. So that having said, once you have ref, the, or, the other important flag is Woodyard. Same story, Woodyard, you can capture the fastest if someone 
opens the squad, goes inside the jet, bails out and hides somewhere in the woodyard. Um, probably behind that like tiny canopy, warehouse kind of thing. Or you just hide somewhere uh, even further away. So that like your friends can continuously respawn and get that woodyard squad. And why is woodyard important? As I said before, because this is where Chinese have the enemy helicopter. So if you want to think of flags in a sort of like hierarchical way, I would say after these two flags, the most important are probably uh, river like hill no hill hill village, because there you have another APC and you have an AA vehicle and you have an IGLA and also power plant because power power station actually is super easy to capture. You just need to sit in between these two uh you know these two dividers of these concrete like columns where you can capture the flag so let's say as a u.s team you can once you have these four flags you basically yeah you basically won because all the other flags i mean docks you have to keep while you're doing this because if you lose docks you're gonna be hurt a lot so yeah just make sure you keep docks um, and then from there, you know, you can work your way through through the map from both ways in. I would say, yeah, take market, take docks, because the helipad market and the helipad docks. And then probably you could go for farmhouse if you wanted to, but you could also go for river village uh, because there's another AA, there's another APC. So you just want to make sure the opponent has, has, has the least amount of armored vehicles and the least amount of enemy AA or Eagles and stuff like that. Alright, so this was the strategy from a uh, from the US perspective. Now I'm gonna hop on to the strategy from the Chinese team's perspective. So if you are Chinese and let's say you already listened to the first part especially, then you kinda more or less have an idea of what you have to do. So my advice is, first of all, if you start a game, try as a commander whatsoever, try to be around refinery um, or try to have some guys protecting the APC and the tank at refinery. All right. Um, it might be a bit of a boring job, but, you know, as soon as these enemies come and bail, you will be able to, you know, secure your your strongest ground and armed vehicles, ground units, armored vehicles, whatever. And you're not gonna give that thing so easily away. That's one thing. Another thing is that at the beginning of the game, you would like to have a few guys around Vista, and these guys should spot the enemy air vehicles, all right? You should spot choppers, you should spot jets, You, uh, but you know, just take this as a serious thing, you know? If you're infantry, you don't have to have any kills. If you just spot these things, it's gonna make the whole, it's gonna make the life of this of your team much much easier, because the U.S. guys have such a hard time taking off without being spotted. That if you don't spot them, it's kind of like just giving it away for free, because they only have two ways to go. Right? They either go over market, uh, they go fucking NASA over the whole map, or they just go on the side through docks. So. All right, so once you have these guys spotting, you also um, want to make sure that you attack uh, docks. Attacking docks is the easiest if you go over the very left part over the map, all right? If you come from the right, you're basically crossing um, the enemy's perspective, all right? You're going to get taken out easily. So don't even fucking try to ride with a boat through that canal or with an APC or tank, don't even go around that hill, right? Wait until the enemy, uh, wait until your chopper advances on the left of the map and takes out the enemy choppers from that side, all right? If you took out the choppers, if then the, they can next take out the enemy tanks, APCs, and basically all your units can run towards dock. What you should do at docks, as I already mentioned in the first part, is take out enemy assets, take out the UAV, take out the um, scanner. And then if you're, you know, if you're able to do it, most likely you will fail, but it's still a really good move. Take a car or take a boat and also take down the artillery. 
Now, let's say, uh, <laughs> let's say Americans are a bit stronger and you're actually not going to go for that plan. Please make just sure that you keep the flex market and you keep the flex um, woodyard and you keep the flag refinery. If you keep these flags throughout the, the, the game, the Americans are gonna have a pretty hard time to advance because they are missing out on the helipads and they're missing out to actually take out your most powerful vehicles which are the air vehicles. So I would like to round it off here or maybe there are some things I haven't said yet. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, maybe one that's a general tip that's for both teams. One also really good way of hiding, which I find is really something that even artillery most of the times fails to take you out, is if you bail and you land into these silos. You could even see four jump up there, but if you look at these silos, they have like several levels and <laughs> I always see sometimes it happens a squad leader manages to hide in there and he's just staying there for the whole round. Uh, you need a helicopter to take these people out because otherwise it's just not going to work. So either way, if it's going to be docks in a Chinese perspective or it's going to be refinery in a US perspective, hiding these silos because it's, yeah, it's almost impossible to get you out there. <laughs>